Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to check if the camera works. So you let me know in, in a moment. Hold on. Let me change my headset. Okay, so uh, I think it works well. Let me just turn it on. Okay, so I think it's working now. Uh, can you see me? Yes. Yes. Okay, thumbs up. Excellent, yes. thank you so much uh, for clarifying that. So right now I see on the cameras, um, Jessica, Anna, Jacqueline, Diana, Ruth, Blanca, Francisco, Juan Jose, Freddy, Suleyma, Glenda, uh, Brenda as well, that's great. Let me check. Okay, and I see Karen, okay. In a new living room. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, virtual backgrounds that you can use just in case you feel more relaxed uh, or more comfortable. There are options like this one, like this one, none, blur, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? If you want to go to the beach, you can do that too. Okay. But the idea is that you are in a place where you have no distractions, okay? That is important. How can I do that? Uh, when How can I do that? Where you see the option of the, um, how can I tell you? Where the camera, where you activate the camera, there is a little arrow. So you click on the arrow and it will display some options. And one of the options says, uh, mm, I'm on the phone. Background. Ah, you are on the phone. I'm not sure how it works in the phone, but but that's the the way it is. Uh, if somebody can do it on the phone, please let us know so that uh, your classmates can do can do that too, right? So sometimes the virtual background helps, right? Uh, in case people are passing by or I don't know or there's something that you don't want people to see behind you. I don't know, a picture of your favorite actor or actress. Uh, um, well, anyway, so it's a pleasure to see you one more time. Thank you so much for being on time, for being here. And I hope that today's session is also as productive as yesterday's. Uh, however, yesterday we had the introduction, so we didn't have that much time to practice or to see each other. How do you do that, Suleyma, to move your face up and down from side to side? That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's really cool. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just trying to put the picture behind me, but I, um, I don't find where. <laughs> okay, okay. But that was interesting. <laughs> okay, so we're going to uh, move on. And first of all, I'm going to take the attendance, right? To check who's here and who's not. Um, remember that we're going to be taking, well, I'm going to be taking the attendance at the beginning of the session, uh, in the middle and five minutes before the end. Uh, also remember that through the WhatsApp group, I already shared with you the, um, the list of the participants that are going to be in the final, or the extra 10 minutes. So uh, just to remind you the for the 
for tomorrow, I mean, for today, I, I mentioned that yesterday, right? That would be Brenda Erlinda. Uh, however, I do not see any Brenda right now. Just in case Brenda is not here with us uh, by the end of the session, uh, the next person would be Flor. Um, Idalma, yeah, now I can see Flor. So uh, you will be with in an extra 10 minute session with me, uh, Flor, so that we can work on any doubt or any topic that you consider relevant for you in, related to English, right? So that's what we're going to be doing uh, today. And um, well, before we start, okay, I'm going to take the attendance. Then I'm going to explain you what we're going to be doing in today's session. And um, just remember to be ready, right? With your camera, your microphone, uh, with energy. If you need to drink coffee, drink coffee, that's okay. Uh, but maybe later it will be difficult for you to sleep. Tell me, but trust me by experience, okay? I had two coffees yesterday afternoon and it was a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> especially because today I had to wake up at 4 a.m. to go to San Salvador. But here I am, okay, with an extra coffee, ready for the class. Uh, I am going to um, call you name my, one by one, right? And you just say here or present, right? So I can give you the, I can check, right? That you are present in the session. Uh, so the first person that I see in the list is Ana Beatriz. The second one is Ana Elizabeth. I'm here. Okay, Ana, nice to meet you. I think I didn't meet you yesterday. Yeah, and right now I am in, in my work yet, but I oh, almost okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I, I hope that you can make it right through the session. Okay, Thank so you. nice to meet you. My name is Freddy uh, Marcus, right? I tell my name because it doesn't appear there. Um, then we have Ana Mariela. Preston. Okay, Miss Maravilla. Uh, Brenda Erlinda. I'm here. Great, let me check where is Brenda. Okay, I see you now. Uh, Carla Yanet. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good, good evening. evening. Welcome. Diana Yesenia. I'm here. Okay. Uh, next person is Floridalma. I'm here. Nice to meet you, uh, Ms. Nice. Ramirez. You. Okay. The next one is Francisco Villacorta. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Glenda Laura. I think I saw Glenda. Yeah, she's frozen right there, but maybe she's having the same connection issues as yesterday. Glenda, can you activate your microphone? Hi. I'm Hello. Here. Okay, nice. Hi. Uh, Harvin, Isaac. I am here. Great. Uh, Juan Jose Avalos. Okay, Juan Jose, I cannot hear you. Maybe you can check the microphone one more time. Same as yesterday, right? Don't worry, you can fix it and then you speak. Um, after Juan Jose, we have, well, I missed Jennifer Hisela. Present teacher. Ah, it's nice to meet you. Uh, well, nice. Let me check. No, nice to meet you too. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. That's right. Okay, Karen Guadalupe. Present. And by the way, congratulations because today is Teacher's Day. Oh, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been a very busy Teacher's Day for me this year, but I'm glad because I, I am 
still a teacher. <laughs> okay, let's continue with Maritza Alcira. Um, nope, I do not see her. So maybe she will join us later, but yesterday she was here. Merlin Lisbeth. Um, nope, okay, next one. Is Miguel Angel Centeno? Miguel Angel, like the painter, no, not here. So continue with uh, Rolando Antonio. Not here, Ruth Sarai. Ruth, I think I I'm saw Ruth. Sorry. Okay, yes. ah, don't worry. Don't worry, that's okay. Uh, Suleyma Lisset. I'm here, teacher. Okay, nice to meet you, Suleyma. Uh, nice Jessica to meet you. Yanari. I'm here. Jacqueline Simara. Present. Blanca Stephanie. Present. Freddy's Vladimir. Freddy's, are you there? Okay, maybe you can try Excuse to act. Okay, okay, perfect. Don't worry, it's a microphone. Uh, you, get, you, you will get used to it, don't worry. Uh, that's normal at the beginning. The next one is Julio Ernesto. Present. Okay, excellent. So um, we're going to get started uh, as for the people that were not able to join the session yesterday, I strongly recommend you to watch the video on YouTube uh, because I gave all the general indications uh, for the curse, uh, the indications that we're going to be taking into consideration during the sessions, that is also something relevant. I explain uh, in general, right, what the, the curse or the manual is about. And we were uh, getting to know each other. So now we have an idea about where your classmates are from. Uh, however, I'm going to ask quickly just the new students. I say new because they weren't, they are here for the first time, right, today. And for me, you're new, right? So, Suleyma, where are you from? Suleyma? Hi, I'm sorry. Ah, don't worry. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Suleyma Alice. <laughs> okay. I'm 23 years old. I'm working right now as a coach in a call center. And I, some of uh, you already know why I, who I am, <laughs> because it was in the last group that I so knew. Uh -huh. Yes, I saw so faces that I, I don't know <laughs> who they are. And I'm happy to be here. And sorry, yesterday I couldn't connect to the class because I got some troubles, personal oh. troubles. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. But the most important is that you're here, right? And hopefully you're going to be here for the rest of the sessions. Okay, nice to meet yes. you, Selena. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. Wait a second. Now I see Rolando here. Rolando Antonio, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, Rolando, where, where are you from or where do you live? Maybe where, where you live, right? Because uh, some people are from one place, but they live in another one. So right now, where, where are you? Okay, hello, everybody. I live in San Jacinto. San Jacinto, okay. Yeah. I think you're the first person that I know from San Jacinto. I was really? telling your, yeah, I was telling your classmates that I'm from San Miguel. I'm not yeah. originally from San Miguel, but I live here. So uh, I think the majority of you are not from San Miguel. So well, probably no one is from San Miguel, just me. So it's interesting, right? That we get to know each other through, uh, through this course, through this module online. So uh, that's something great that I love about online classes. You meet people from different parts of 
the country of the world, right? So there are no limitations. Um, let me see, Flor, where, where are you from? Thank you, Rolando, for the info. Welcome. Hello, I live in Lourdes, Colón, La Libertad. Lourdes, Colón, okay. I have yes. a friend in Lourdes. Okay, nice to meet you. One more time, Floor. And let me check who was your person that was now with us yesterday, but now she is Anna Elizabeth, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Anna. Okay, hi. Uh, well, my name is Anna Elizabeth, so you can call me Annie. Uh, I was in the last uh, course too. Uh, with Suleyma and another uh, classmate that I can see in this class. So, uh, hi guys, I I am very happy to see you again. So, uh, well, I'm working in a call center too. So I am a um, supervisor. So sometimes I have uh, different schedules and oh. I live in San Salvador. Yeah, sometimes I uh, do the closing schedule or opening schedule. And for that reason that I am here right now, yeah. Okay, that's really nice. Well, it is good that we have people who have experience at call centers, right? Because maybe some of you are interested in uh, working uh, there in a, in a moment, right? Or having that kind of experience or just to know a little bit about that. So you have the possibility to ask, right? Your classmates a little bit more. And maybe that's the reason why you're trying to learn more English or to improve your English. Uh, so if that's the case, it's excellent. We had the chance to, to meet some people who have the experience. Um, okay, so I guess that those were, okay, Flor, Anna, uh, Rolando, Suleyma, and Jennifer. I'm missing Jennifer. Jennifer Sella. Yes. Okay. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, I live close to downtown and I work as a counseling assistant uh, in a company who is a financial financial services. Okay. Provides financial services. A company that provides financial services. Awesome. That's interesting. Okay, thank you so much for the info, Jennifer. Um, we're going to move on. Uh, as I told you, right, we're going to have a lot of sessions in order to interact with each other. However, uh, it's time for us to review what we were doing yesterday. For you to remember and for your classmates who didn't have the chance to be here, right, to have an idea about the topic that we were uh, discussing or the topic that we were covering yesterday. Uh, besides the information about the curse and about the rules and everything, what else did we do yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Anybody who wants to help us? Uh, I cannot hear you, Juan Jose. Blanca? The comparative? Okay, Can you hear me now? Yeah, perfect, Juan Jose. The comparatives, okay. yes, we use the comparative adjectives. Can you please mention one example? Um, uh, better, for example. Um, um, In your opinion, tol Juan, tol Juan Jose. Tol In your opinion, Juan Jose, who is better, Ronaldo or Messi? <laughs> Messi. <laughs> Messi is? But it is better than Ronaldo. Better than, okay, so that's one simple structure that we use, right, to compare two people, two things, two animals, okay? Better, so we use the adjective in the comparative form. In this case, the adjective is good, the comparative is better. So that's an irregular adjective, right, an irregular comparative. So good, better, okay, bad, worse, bad, worse, okay? Bad is the adjective, worse the comparative. So for example, uh, I'm going to ask Blanca, uh, in your opinion, um, what is worse? Uh, what is worse? Having money, 
but no happiness or having happiness, but no money? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need money. And then it's worth being poor, then being rich and unhappiness, unhappy. <laughs> unhappy, okay, perfect. So, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so <laughs> that's an example, right? Excellent, thank you, Blanca. Um, anybody else who wants to give an example, another example? Okay, excellent, uh, Annie, don't worry. Uh, anybody else who wants to give another example about the comparatives or wants to mention something else that we learned or we practiced or we studied yesterday? Remember that yesterday was a little bit of grammar, a little bit of speaking, a little bit of uh, vocabulary. So we have different, different topics different contents, but I have a bad memory, so I don't remember yesterday's class. Can you please tell me or remind me? Tick tock, tick tock, let me check. I see some people wanting to activate the microphone. We practice. Huh? We practice a conversation between two people that they are compared to restaurants. Okay. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. So we had a conversation about Luigi and Carla, right? They were talking about how to make the restaurant better. Okay, excellent. Uh, Julio? Um, yeah. We were talking about what's your favorite restaurant, uh, why, ah, and, okay. and you know, it's, uh, uh, seafood. We, we we were talking about a lot of seafood, meats. Yeah, especially you. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> the specialist. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's what I remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Excellent participation. Thank you so much. Um, okay. okay, somebody else who wants to add some extra information about vocabulary, maybe? Do you remember any specific vocabulary or topic or the words that we practiced? I'm going to give you a clue. We try to do a, a little matching um, in one exercise, matching definitions with the words. Ruth? Yeah, we learned about the uh, words of a uh, rest, restaurant industry, like a specialty, buffet, book a table, take out, delivery. Correct. Okay, so those are some of the most important words that we learned yesterday, right? So, uh, for example, if I tell you, uh, if I ask you, for example, uh, Harbin, what is take out when you're talking about restaurant? Take out. Harvin, can you hear me? Okay. So let me check. I'm going to ask Karen. Do you remember the words take okay. out? Yep. Uh, yes, take out when you go to the restaurant to buy food and take out home. And you take it to it outside the restaurant, correct? To it. Excellent. Yes, exactly. Excellent. Very good. Uh, let me see. Miguel Angel, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I okay, can hear so you. what is delivery? What is delivery? Delivery, yeah. Is uh, when you can we you can call a restaurant, order food, and they take it uh, uh, to your home. To your home or to the place where you call, right? From where you call. That's right. 
Okay, excellent. That's delivery. Good. Yeah. Don't forget that you can use the reactions, right, for your classmates' participations. So that's like a motivation for them, right? And one more question about vocabulary. I'm going to ask. A, wait a second. What's going on with this? I don't want to see the news. Okay. A, I will ask one. Okay, Francisco. A, what is the meaning of book? Book a table. Francisco, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, so what is book and table? Is it literal book. Like, like book and table? Book and table? No. Uh, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, I believe that it's a menu. Remove. Menu? Mm, it's a menu. Um, menu? No, not exactly, not exactly. But if... we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, Jessica? Yes, teacher. Okay, I think that you want to say something, right? Yes, uh, book a table uh -huh. is to book make a, a reservation at a restaurant. To make a reservation, that's correct. So yes, you make a reservation, okay? like. Hello, I'm calling because I want to book a table for five people tonight, okay? And um, then you give your name and et cetera, et cetera, all the details that the restaurant uh, needs from you. Now, we're going to move on uh, with the session, right? So that's what we practice. Comparatives, we practice vocabulary for restaurant, specifically the words that uh, you were mentioning, right? And we practice a conversation and we practice questions, okay? Discussion about the restaurant that you like, the reason why you like it, uh, what is popular in your city, right? Uh, if it is takeout or delivery, and the majority agree that delivery is more popular now, especially since the pandemic started, right? So nobody wants to go out. So they, everybody calls delivery for food or any other product. Now, we're going to move on and uh, for today, we are going to finish with the practice from yesterday, okay? First of all, let me share with you the screen so that we can check. One of the, of the things that I asked you to do was to complete the exercise number six that is related to the comparative, right? So right now we're going to check and you are going to come up with more examples. Uh, that is something really, really important, right? When you practice one topic, uh, that you create your own examples about the topic. So in that way, you understand better, okay? And you don't forget about the, the topic. So um, right now I'm sharing the screen with you. So on the screen, you see the exercise number six that you have to complete the statements using the comparative form of the adjectives in parentheses. Okay, number one. Uh, let me see. Flor, can you please read number one? Yes. Okay. Delivery okay. is more convenient than takeout. That's that's true. Okay. Um, let me check, <laughs> Suleima. Um, I am going to ask you to please, okay, try try to do the number two, okay? Where I am going to help you, right? But uh, as you can see, the adjective in parentheses is cheap, okay? Okay. Uh, what is the opposite of cheap, Suleyman? Expensive. Expensive, okay, expensive. So if I tell you that my cell phone, for example, my cell phone is $1,000, what is your opinion? Is this cheap or expensive? It's cheap. Fancy. For, for $1,000, $1, it's cheap. No, that would be expensive. <laughs> Sorry. If I, tell expensive. You, if I tell you that it's 100 maybe you say like, oh, 100 oh, for a cheap, yeah, cheap, right? Okay. It's um, really cheap. So, good. 
If you uh, order pizza and the pizza is $20, just one pizza, what is your opinion? Is it cheap or it's expensive? expensive? It's expensive, <laughs> right? Okay, so yeah. you said, no, but the pizza in the other restaurant is $5, so you go to that in one. In the Little Caesar, oh, it's just $5. Okay, no, no, <laughs> no advertisement, right? No advertising for the company. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. try to do the number two. Their beverages are the two spaces, yeah. the ones that from Tarbox. They're, they're, beverages is the beverage, beverage. In singular is beverage, right? Plural is beverages, right? Their, their be beverages, beverages are the cheap. What is the comparative to say mas uh, barato? Cheap. Is are cheaper than cheaper one. than uh -huh, that's correct. Two participants raise the hand. So we have Jennifer and Julio. So uh, Jennifer, can you please uh, say something about number two, or you want to try number three? I want to try the number three. Okay, excellent. French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurants. Okay. Uh, do you think it's true? Jennifer? Yes, maybe. Yeah, it's not the same. Cheaper. Hey, let, let, let's go to the, I don't know, le, Bon Appetit restaurant uh, than to say, hey, let's go for a one shotty, right? So it's, it's that's not that romantic. Um, I, I say shorty because I know they are very popular. I have level, a question. Right? Okay, yeah. tell me. What is the question? Teacher, I have a question about the about the word cheaper. Mm -hmm. What is the question? Uh, I don't I don't remember okay. the rule uh, when when I I I show uh, I, I should uh, use the WP or just one P. Ah, oh, okay, excellent. Uh, well, I think that the rule is not here but I am going to explain you, right? You use the double consonant, the double final consonant, when the adjective has the combination of consonant, vowel, consonant. For example, when you say hot, right? San Miguel is hotter, is hotter than San Salvador. And that's true. Uh, so San Miguel is Hot is the adjective, but right? if you see the combination consonant, vowel, consonant, so I duplicate the last consonant and I say hotter. It's hotter than San Salvador. Another example, another example uh, can be with the adjective big, big. So I can say, um, I don't know, my laptop is not, okay, this is negative. It's not bigger than my sister's, my sister's laptop, right? So big, bigger, consonant, vowel, consonant. So when you have that combination is that you duplicate the last consonant. That is a rule. Uh, so, so when is, Vowel, vowel consonant. Is when it's only vowel consonant, no. no. You need to have the three letters: consonant, vowel, consonant. At the end of the and of the word. For, uh -huh. and, and the word cheaper is mm -hmm. vowel, vowel consonant. Uh, so the, just just we use one. Only one p. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly because you don't have the combination. Mm -hmm. Correct. Good question. Excellent question. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, I think Julio and 
Yeah. Yeah. You want to try the uh, to answer the num the number four. Number four. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Oh wait, it we says, didn't we didn't hear the number the three. <laughs> okay, it was just a oh. question, but I, we didn't hear the answer. No, number three. So, some, somebody, somebody, somebody was, raised the hand. Somebody was yeah. saying that French, uh, French restaurants uh, are uh, more romantic. French That's restaurant. right. They mentioned that French restaurants are more romantic uh, than fast food restaurants. Uh, Correct. Number four, Julio, go ahead. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. It says the buffet at Ming Lee's restaurant is more complete than chance. Is that right? Okay, I'm going to ask your classmates. Do you agree with uh, Julio's answer? The buffet at uh, Ming Lee's restaurant is more complete than chance. Do you think it's correct? Okay, we have the reactions. Thumbs up means okay. okay. I, I agree. Very good. So okay. let me check. Blanca says that it's okay. Uh, Floor says that it's okay. Jacqueline, Karen, Miguel, they think that it's good. Ruth is celebrating, so it's, it's correct. Yes, that's right. Excellent job, Julio. Thank you so much. A volunteer for number yeah. five, please. Number five and number six. We're missing two. Okay. Who wants to try number five? The service is faster than the restaurant we went to last week. Yes, their service is faster than. Okay, faster than. Hmm. Or their service is more more fast no. than the restaurant. In this case, no. I, I was I was doubting because they put three spaces right in the book, but uh, it's only two. Uh, their service okay. is is faster than. Um, okay. Yeah, it's not possible to say more fast more or fast. more faster. No, never. Okay, it's like more okay. better, right? More better. Uh, even in Spanish, people, some people have that problem, right? They say más mejor, but we know that it's grammatically incorrect. So, uh, <laughs> yes. yeah, for that reason, they translate it to English, right? Like, ah, more better. No, it's just better. Um, and number six. Number six, number six. Now that I remember, I forgot to send you a link. I wanted to share a dictionary with you, but I will do it later. So number six, uh, Diana, thank you so much. Okay, Ruth will help us in the next exercise. The ambience in Jevy's kitchen is more appealing than the food they sell. It's more appealing. I, I, I am curious, what is appealing? I don't remember. I think we studied that word yesterday. Attractive. Attractive, okay, that's right. So the ambience, uh, what is ambience? Environment. Place. It's uh, the environment, is the environment. It's a synonym, right? Synonym of environment. So the ambience in this case is related to the atmosphere, right? The environment of the restaurant. Okay, so um, for example, if you go to uh, Plaza del Volcan, right? I think that's the name in, in uh, Plaza del Volcan. There is one restaurant that has some umbrellas. Uh, the ambience there is, is really appealing, right? Really attractive. It looks cool. Okay, so that is the, the meaning of this example. Excellent, thank you so much. I'm going to give a, a reaction for all the participants. Excellent, thank you so much. Something that you can do in the classes and it's okay with me, is that you can help each other, right? For example, maybe Anna is having some difficulties to answer or to complete one exercise or one example, but with no problem, uh, somebody, can raise a hand, like Brenda, for example, can say, eh, excuse me, teacher, or excuse me, Anna, can I help you, right? So, because everybody here is learning. So helping each other or cooperative learning is really important. 
Uh, so consider that, right? Also, when you see that somebody is having difficulties in the breakout rooms or in the session and you want to help, you can raise your hand and you can ask, offer your help, right? Ask the person if it is okay to help. So don't feel bad if somebody is uh, helping you, right? Or somebody is maybe telling you in the breakout room, I think it's not correct, Julio. I think the correct way is this one. Ah, okay, I didn't know. Thank you, right? So we need to be very open, right? To receiving feedback from our classmates, our peers. So that is really important. Even the teachers, right? If I make a mistake, like, or I forgot something, a teacher, you forgot about the number six? <gasps> really? Thank you, I didn't see that. So I, I, I'm okay with that, right? So you can uh, give your opinion if maybe I skipped something or I confused uh, something, right? Uh, maybe I tell you, cheap is something that costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Sure, sorry, but I think that chip is the opposite of that. Okay, so it can happen, you never know. Now, we're going to uh, brainstorm some ideas, okay? But before we go to the brain, brainstorming, I'm going to ask some questions, okay? So um, the question is about comparatives, but I need you to give me a complete answer. For example, I ask, a, let me check, who did I ask the question? Uh, before. I think it was Juan Jose. I asked him, right, who is better, Messi or Ronaldo? And then he told me, Messi. Okay, what is a complete sentence? Messi is better than Ronaldo. Okay, so that's what I need, a complete answer using the comparatives. So I'm going to ask the first question to Ruth. In your opinion, in your opinion, what, who is more popular? Who is more popular? Um, the president of El Salvador or the teacher, Freddie? It's a difficult question, but you can try to answer it. Ruth? Um, not sure if she can hear me right now. So if Ruth cannot hear me, I'm going to ask Suleyma the same question. I think that the president is, <laughs> is more popular than you. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. A little bit, a little bit, yeah, that's correct. Thank you so a much. little bit. A little bit, yeah. So let's continue. The question goes to... Uh, let me check who's next here. Glenda. In your opinion, Hi. in your opinion, which animal is more dangerous? Which animal is more dangerous? The snake, the snake or the crocodile? That's a difficult question. I think that uh, the snake <laughs> is more dangerous. Are more dangerous than the yes. crocodiles. It's more dangerous than crocodiles. Yeah, probably yes. right because you can find them in any place. <laughs> okay, in the water, on the tr on the trees, um, <laughs> yes. on the on the ground. Yeah, true. Uh, I don't like snakes. Next one, uh, <laughs> Jacqueline. What kind of music? What kind of music is better for you, perreo or uh, bachata? For me, bachata is better than perreo. Okay, excellent. I agree with you. Next one. Uh, I don't like perreo. I don't like. I don't like bachata too. You don't like bachata either. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, when you're using the negative, when you want to say tampoco, you say either. Uh, or you can say, well, in this case, I don't like it either, but you can say neither. For example, uh, I don't like, well, for example, I, if you want to say yo tampoco, you can say me neither, me neither. Um, 
And two is for affirmative. So if I say, I like chocolate, hey, me too. Or I like chocolates too. Um, let me ask the next person here is- Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Carla. Question, um, who is faster? Well, which sport, which sport is faster? Swimming or running? Which sport is faster, swimming or running? Carla? Running is faster than swimming. Yeah, yeah, runners are faster than swimmers. Uh -huh. If we talk about the people, right? If we talk about the sports, that's correct. Brenda, thank you so much for volunteering. Uh, Brenda, what company is more uh, sophisticated? Uh, Huawei or Apple? Apple is, and the company Apple is more sophisticated than Huawei. That's right, that's right. Thank you so much. Um, let me check, one more volunteer, one more volunteer. Anybody who wants to participate, raise your hand, please. So I can ask you a question. Um, I will choose then Ana Mariela, Maravilla, and then Francisco. Okay, so two questions. Ana Mariela, can you hear me? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. So, uh, who is taller? Who is taller? Uh, well, do you have a brother? Yes. Okay, who is taller? Your brother, your brother or you? Mm, I have two brothers. Okay. Mm, my little brother is taller than me. Okay. I mean, and you I'm are older a, than a, your, I mean, you're taller than your older brother. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, now we continue with Francisco. Thank you. Uh, Francisco, question for you? Yes. Okay, in your Sorry. opinion, who is more beautiful? Um, Jennifer Lopez or Beyonce? <sighs> For my, well, my opinion is that Jennifer Lopez is more beautiful than Beyonce. What? Beyonce. Okay. So we respect my opinion. everybody's opinions here. So don't worry. Um, okay. So, <laughs> excellent. So that's the way that we use, right? The comparisons. When we are comparing two things, two people, two animals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So please practice, okay? The, the creating your own sentences. Uh, now we're going to talk about restaurants. What are you going to do? You're going to brainstorm a list of other restaurant services you have experienced. Are they as popular as delivery or takeout? Why do you think so? So what I need you to do is simply just to uh, talk about other restaurants, not the restaurant that you mentioned yesterday. And, uh, and you can say, right, if they are, uh, probably some reasons why you think that they are better or they are more delicious or they are more popular. You can compare them with other restaurants, right? Or you can mention characteristics about the restaurants that make them different, make them special, okay? So express your opinion about these restaurants. I can tell you about restaurants in Samuel, but the idea is that you share with another partner, right? With other in, in the breakout rooms. So for this, you will have just uh, four minutes. Uh, Blanca, you have a question? Yes, I have a question. Okay, tell How me. can I pay para comer aquí? <laughs> para comer aquí? Yes. That would be literal, uh, I mean, to eat here. Uh, so uh, I heard some people saying for here, but uh, for me, that sounds a little more informal, right? And another one, uh, another expression that also is related to the food uh, is to go. Uh, instead of take out, people say to go. To, 
uh, for here or to eat here or to go. And you say, no, to go. So people understand that it's like, for example, I want this food to go, right? So it's like they give it to you and you take it. That's another expression that you can also use. Now, but that was a good question. Thank you. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. You will be in groups of three. Only group, one group is going to be, well, only two students are going to be in purse, I think. Floor and Juan, Harvey and Ruth. So I'm going to send, make a whole room with, the, with you guys. So you can practice more. And I will send to the room number five. Okay, perfect. So right now, accept the invitation. You have four minutes to talk about the restaurants, the characteristics, and why you think, right, those restaurants have special uh, features or characteristics compared to other restaurants. Check, room number three, four. Okay, everybody's going to the break of rooms. We are missing just Rolando, uh, Glenda, and Merlin. Please accept the invitation to go to the break of room. Excellent. Glenda and Merlin, you are the last ones right now. No me aparece la invitación. Okay, you don't see the invitation, don't worry. I'm going to send it to you one more time. So you can go to the breakout room number three. Now? Good. Let me go and check here. Delicious. Okay. A delicious cheese and is something like that. A monster burger and you pay um wait it cost eight dollars and you can okay. share with another person because it's it's big it's a big hamburger and well I think that them are more delicious than uh. Burger in Burger King restaurant, um, uh, but it's more expensive than a uh, Burger King. Mm -hmm. you but for um, me, I'm more delicious. Yes. And what about you? Um, I don't know. Um, I think that pupusas, the corners. Is too more delicious than the other. I don't know how do you say tienda. In my case, but in my case, I the, think the store or a little store. More... What? You're talking about tienda, like a like a little store. Um, the store. Uh, yeah. Bien. However, I, I don't know, how do you say la tienda o la pupusería de la par? Between? The pupuserías between. Yeah, pupusería. Yeah, there's not like pupusa store or pupusa restaurant. No, it's just pupusería. Yeah, okay. there's no translation for that. Okay. I prefer that pupusa than the corner because it's very delicious. Uh, you... Do you like shells? <coughs> I don't. What? Shells? Shells. Uh, I don't Why like them. That? Uh, I don't uh, like them either. Ooh, they look like so nasty. <laughs> no. Yeah, 
Thank you, Nick. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Nick. I don't like them. I just like fish, uh, shrimps. Chips. Shrimp. Uh -huh. The normal bed. But I think that the papayan is more. Teacher, how do you say? Masa pesada, what is that? The dough, dough is thicker, thicker. Thicker, thick, T H I C K. Thick. Um, so you say thicker. Um, I'm not sure if you will be able to see that in the chat, but the dough, that's masa, is thicker. The dough, thicker. Yeah, is thicker. The thick. dough, thicker. Thicker. Uh -huh. Like a book, right? The book is thick, like this. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Harbin, so what are you saying? That you, you can't or you cannot eat pizza? Hut? I cannot eat pizza hut because when I, when I eat pizza hut, my stomach is through me. <laughs> Uh, okay. This too. I guess it's because of the of the fat, probably the oil or the spices, maybe. Maybe, maybe. it's too spicy for but you. But you uh -huh. can eat a fat fat food or no? Sorry. You can eat, but I like it. <laughs> but the important that is. Uh, do you prefer prepare by yourself? So I, yeah. I think that it's more special if you do the things by yourself for you. Yes. You're talking. You? You're talking about cooking what? <laughs> making make, making what by yourself? Making ramen. Ramen. Oh, ramen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I guess it is. Yes. Yeah. We started talking about restaurants and, and at the end of we were you, talking about cooking. <laughs> no, <laughs> because but we it's, asked it's about related. the favorite food that we have. Uh -huh, exactly. It's like there is a restaurant in Salvador that is called Don Lee, right? Mm -hmm. And they have uh, yes. good, um, mm -hmm. let's say, Chinese food. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but when you prepare at home and you know how to do it, it's, it's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But because you need the ram specific in ingredients. Uh -huh. Yes, because buy ramen is expensive. It's cheaper yeah. to prepare. Yeah, I, I asked about that and it told me that it was like $15. I was like, ah, okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> just give me Cantonese rice and uh, this and the other. the same right? price of the... Yeah. We have or just like 30 seconds. Of the mariscada. Uh huh. True. Okay, but the good things that you like cooking, so that's <laughs> that's that's a, a benefit. <laughs> okay. Uh, that converse, those conversations were really exciting. I entered the majority of the breakout rooms and I got hungry. Um, <laughs> so they were talking about pupusas, about pizza, about, see, about the mariscada, right? Um, uh, Chinese food. So, well, they mentioned, they talk about shells, but they don't like them. So in that group that I was, uh, like, the conchas, right? And they were like, no, they're nasty. But I know that some people love them, right? So it's about, it's a matter of taste. Um, okay, so I would like to hear a couple of uh, volunteers uh, to share their the information that you were discussing in your group. What restaurants do you mention? What characteristics do you mention about those restaurants? What make makes um, those restaurants special. Um, I'm going to start with Anna because I didn't, we didn't have the chance to, to listen to her before. So Anna Elizabeth, right? Uh, yes. 
Well, uh, I was talking about a, one of my favorite food that is the Mexican food. And I try to compare the, for example, my favorite restaurant that is the Zocalo. Mm -hmm. And uh, I compare with the Calaca, for example, for me. Uh, I prefer the Zocalo because I think that the food is more delicious than Calaca for the flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, because in the Calaca, you have to use the, the sauces and uh, give the sauces, right? Uh, uh -huh. But with the Zocalo, I think that all the flavor is on uh, within the food. You don't yeah. need uh -huh. anything more. So yeah. for me, it's better. And I think that the price is similar. Maybe the Zocalo is more expensive than Akalaka, but I think it's a little bit more. Uh, but it's more um, comfortable. Yeah, OK. Uh, more comfortable? What do you mean? It's like uh, the environment uh, ah, okay, okay, the, okay. of the restaurant, because you can visit with your family and it's comfortable for everything, for everybody. OK, I got it. I got it. Very good. Um, how, speaking of, of prices, I'm going to check your vocabulary, okay? Speaking of prices, uh, you already, we already discussed cheap and expensive. Uh, what other expressions or, voca or adjectives can we use for talking about prices? About prices? Mm -hmm. um, convenience. Flower? Convenient. Convenient, convenient can be, convenient can be. Uh, however, lower there are other fancy. words. What? Lower. Fancy. Lower. Fancy. Fancy. Mm, fancy is more about the appearance, not too much about the price. Uh, for example, how do you say razonable? Like, you say they charge ten dollars for the tacos, but the tacos is like six tacos, and they're delicious. So it's razonable. How would you say that in English? I don't know. Acceptable. <laughs> Acceptable can be a synonym, yeah. But it's a it's a literal translation. Razonable. How do you say razon? Reasonable. Re re reasonable. Uh huh. Reasonable. Correct. Now, uh, if we're talking about something more expensive, let's say you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> cell phones are about cars, okay? And they tell you, okay, this car is uh, $15,000. And you are like, $15,000? Uh, you say that it's very expensive, but what expression can, can you use uh, to say that? Another expression. Over budget. Can be, it can be overvalued, uh, overrated, overrated, right? Overrated, uh huh. Um, could be. You can say that it's a ripoff, for example. It's a ripoff, like, oh, that's too much. And the car is like, the model is 2000, right? So $15, that's a ripoff. Come on, stuff, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not but, sure, but maybe can be costly. 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 Okay, costly. That can be another word. Very good. And also, uh, there's one more word that I want you to know as well, or or to remember. Uh, when you can pay for something, like suppose that you want to buy a new car, and they tell you, ah, oh, this car is five thousand dollars, and you are like five thousand dollars. You investigate. Ah, it's not. So expensive. I think that I can, I can buy it. So, what would be the word for that? That you have enough money to buy something. I can pay for that. You can pay for that, but I think Brenda mentioned one word. Affordable. That's correct. Okay, that's another word that you can use. Affordable, right? Can you please write down the word in the chat, Brenda, so that uh, we can check how how to write it and you write it down your notebook, right? So uh, that's one recommendation that I gave uh, to Diana yesterday in the extra session, right? Whenever you, you learn a new word, please write it down. Write it down so that you, you can study, you can practice it, you can create examples. 
uh, using that word, you can write down the definition, a synonym, an antonym, you can write down a translation so that the word, you take it for you, like, okay, this is going inside my, my, my mind, right? Inside my vocabulary bank. So uh, that's one way to increase your, your vocabulary, right? So please try to take notes on every new thing that you learn. Um, so affordable is a good word that we can uh, use when we're talking about prices. It's not too expensive, I think it's affordable, it's reasonable, okay? Now, um, we're going to move on and I am going to ask one more volunteer, okay, to participate, let me check. I haven't heard, um, I already heard, uh, okay, Freddy's, I think. Freddy's, can you please share with us a little bit about what you were discussing in your, in your group? Well, we're talking about pusas and the other guy was talking about some burgers and the girl was talking about pupusas too. She loves pupusas. Okay. Um, so you can find pupusas anywhere in El Salvador, but if yeah. you have to give a recommendation to someone about a place or about uh, something in particular that they, they need to find uh, in, a, in, a, in a pupusa to, to be good, yeah, I was I was telling them that where I go with my family, uh, the place is called uh, Glorias, and the pupusa they I think they put on on the pupusa the cheese is uh, the, the same cheese that they put on the pizzas. Okay, so that's a good point. So the ingredients, right? That yeah. makes a difference. That makes a difference. Good. Um, I think that in Antigua they they have good pupuserias, right? Antigua. Uh, Ant what is the name? Yeah, Antigua Pusatlan, I think that's the, that's yeah. one place. I, I heard that it, they, are, they are good, right? Um, not only in Oloquilta, right? Uh, so there are options. Good. So in hamburgers, some... Or planes de renderos. Planes de renderos, that's another recommendation that you can give. Okay, so the hamburgers, people discuss about hamburgers. Uh, of course, there are many options, but there are some better than others. Now, I'm going to move on. Uh, Anna, Beatriz, are you here? No, Anna Elizabeth? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Uh, Anna Mariela? Here. Present, okay. Brenda or Linda? Brenda? I'm here. Excellent, Carla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Diana. I'm here, teacher. Flor. I'm here. Then we have Francisco. Here. Here, teacher. Thank you, Present. Francisco. Glenda. Hello. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Harbin? I am here. Then we have Juan Jose. Oh, Jennifer, sorry. Jennifer and then Juan Jose. They're here. Okay. Person. Jennifer, yes, I am here. Good. Karen? Karen Guadalupe? Present. Present. Okay. Uh, Maritza? Not here. Merlin? Yes, I'm here. Hey, Merlin, now we, we heard your voice. Uh, could you please quickly just tell us where you're from? Hello? Hello? Yes, <laughs> sorry, I'm working right now. Yeah, I know, I read your message. Uh, so, are you from San Salvador or from where? Um, I'm working in San Salvador, but I live in Cuscatlan. Cuscatlan, okay, perfect. Nice to meet you, uh, yes. Merlin. So, uh, nice to meet you. good, I already che checked the attendance for you. Uh, Miguel Angel Centeno. I'm here. Good, Rolando Antonio. I'm here, teacher. 
Nice. Ruth, Sarai. I'm new. Thank you, Miss uh, Suleyma. I'm here, teacher. Jessica. I'm here. Okay, uh, then we have Jacqueline. Blanca. I'm here. Freddy's. I'm here, Tokayo. And Julio, that's right. You're my namesake. So we're going to move on, guys. Uh, as I told you, right, today we're going to start with something new. Um, what's that? I'm going to show you right away. So we finished with the, uh, we stopped here in this slide. So um, you discuss about the restaurants, right? So what's, do you have any questions about the topics that we just discussed about restaurants, about comparatives, about vocabulary before we move on to the next part? I well, guess no, no questions. Right? But no I, questions. hold on, there's someone writing in the chat. Uh, ah, okay, Jennifer. Okay, uh, the next one is right here. So, are you familiar with the fanboys? Yes or no? Probably you will say, no, the fanboys. I know the Backstreet Boys, right? But uh, not the fanboys. So the fanboys is one way to call one topic in English. And this is basically uh, conjunctions, okay? Conjunctions. And what is a conjunction? Okay, so I'm, I will try to speak the language that everybody can understand. So the conjunctions are basically words that we use to connect, to connect uh, other words, okay? And um, the objective of this activity that is going to take you some time to do is that you write down a 10 line restaurant review, applying appropriate punctuation with coordinating conjunctions. So here you are going to become an expert in um, reviewing a restaurant. So I don't know if you are familiarized with the word, with the movie uh, Ratatouille, for example. There is someone that is going to the restaurant to check that the food is good, that the place is good, that everything is clean. So it's making an evaluation of a restaurant. And that is very common, right? That is very common. And if you go to, for example, um, some restaurants in, in Facebook or in social networks, you will find some testaments, like people wrote down a negative or a positive uh, review about the restaurant, about the hotel, about the, the bar, any kind of business, okay? Sharing their experience, sharing their experience. So uh, what you're going to do is that, but before you do it, I am going to explain you the meaning and how to use these words. Okay, um, Jessica, what is the, the letter F? What does the letter F stand for? Or what does the letter F represent in the word fanboys? Mm, Jessica? Four. Four, correct. Four can, you please, can you please read the definition? Okay, explains reason or purpose, just like because. Just like because, okay. So um, this, this class, okay, or this topic is for understanding how to use conjunctions. Four explains the reason or the purpose, right? So uh, why are you calling me? I am calling uh, you for an emergency. I am calling for uh, something that the teacher told me that I have to tell you, or I'm calling you uh, for no reason. I just want to talk to you. So we use four to express reason or purpose, okay? 
uh, if I ask you the question, hey, why are you taking this English course? Why are you here? Uh, for learning more, for improving, for having better preparation in my professional uh, life, okay? So, or for traveling, I want to travel, teacher. That's the reason why I'm, I'm studying English. Okay, perfect. So, or for work. So that's when you use for. Next one, volunteer to read the conjunction and. And, and, and. And add, add one thing to another. For example, Suleyma, can you give me an example? Or can you give us an example? I like pupusas revueltas and the frijoles. <laughs> okay, revueltas and the frijol con queso. Okay, so um, yeah, right. So in my case, I like action, science fiction, and uh, comedy movies. So we add something else. This is very easy, right? Next one, letter N. Another volunteer. Ruth, thank you. Okay, is nor presence and the alternative negative idea to uh, an already um, sorry, an already uh, presented negative one. Okay, that's right. So the next one, uh, well, that would be nor. It's not very common. It's not very common that we use it, but it is an alternative in a negative idea. So uh, we usually we usually uh, say use it with neither, neither. For example, if I tell you, okay, what do you prefer uh, to watch, a horror movie or a romantic movie? And you are like, I don't like any of those options. So you say, teacher, I'm sorry, but I don't like neither R romantic movies nor horror films or horror movies. So neither nor. So it's a combination. We use neither nor and we use either or. So neither nor, that would be the equivalent to say ni esto ni aquello, right? Ni, ni, right? Neither nor. So I'm, um, I'm going to say one example in Spanish and you translate it to English, right? Uh, if I say, uh, where would you rather go? To the beach or to the mountain? No quiero ir ni a la playa ni a la montaña. How would you say that in English? I don't want to go neither to the, um, how do you say, beach, nor to the mountain. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't want to go. I don't want to go neither to the beach, to the beach, nor to the mountain, nor near to the beach, comma, nor. Wait, what happened here? Okay, nor to the mountain. Wait a second. I think there's a problem with the. Okay, nor to the mountain. I have a question. Question. I love questions. Tell me, please. Well, when you use neither, you say it's nor. So yeah, it's a, it's a combination. We need we need the, the two words. All right. So you're using it twice in the same sentence. So you say neither the beach this nor, nor the mountain. That. So uh -huh. I, I, thought, I thought it was neither the beach or the mountain. So it's nor. 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 Neither nor. So the two are negative okay. options. Negative options. Okay. Neither this nor this, okay? It's like when you tell a, a, a kid, right? A, a ba oh, you try to give vegetables to a baby. Neither broccoli, neither uh, carrots. Just give me pizza, right? Um, none of both. So none of both, that's correct. So no, you don't like any of the options. So if I tell you right now, right? Uh, what would you rather... Um, 
have? What would you rather have? Um, let's say a health problem or an economic problem. And you are like, mm, thank you teacher, but no. Or thank you, next, right? Neither a health problem, not an economic problem. Right. Thank you. Okay, so you don't want any of the two options. Okay, if you now, have to choose one. <laughs> I mean, that's another situation, but, but, but if you can say no to both, that's okay. It's possible. Okay. Um, so that's nor. Let's go. Let's go on with the next one. The letter B. Who wants to share this? Okay, Juan Jose. Thank you. Juan Jose will go with the letter B, and but, Diana will go with the letter O. Okay. But shows contrast. Contrast. Can you give an example, please? Um. Um. I like the football soccer, but I can play. I can't play it. it. Okay. <laughs> okay, but I can't play it. Okay. So I like soccer, but I can't play it anymore. Good. That's a very good example. Uh, so for you can say, I I can say I live in San Miguel, but I don't like mayonnaise. Uh, what do you call it? Cabbage. I don't like mayonnaise. Uh, yeah, I don't like mayonnaise cabbage with my pupusas. I can so, imagine that. So, but but I like it with the campestre chicken, right? So that's different. Uh, so, uh, but contrast, right? It's like, yes, I think that Cristiano Ronaldo is a good player, but I don't like his personality. So it's like opposite, opposing ideas, right? you show contrast. You can say, I think that Messi is more skillful than Ronaldo, but Ronaldo is faster than Messi. Okay, or is it stronger? So you can contrast two things or two people, right? So that's the way that we use but. Uh, the or, that was, who was a volunteer for that one? I think it was... Uh, Me. Diana. Diana. Okay. Or presents an alternative or a choice. For example, or a choice. <laughs> uh -huh. for example, for example, choice. For example, do you prefer hot or cold weather? I prefer cold weather, but I like San Miguel, so it's difficult <laughs> to choose. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, the next one, next volunteer for yet. Who's next? If you understand the fanboys, uh, believe me that you will. It will be easier. Okay, Brenda, it will be easier when you when you use them. Yeah, yet introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically. I haven't started yet, or something like that, at the end of the sentence. At the end of the sentence. Okay, that's right. So, uh, can you give an example? Okay. Tomorrow I have an exam and I haven't studied yet. Uh -huh. I haven't studied yet. Okay. How do you say aún no he comido? O aún no he cenado, in this case. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet. I haven't. No, it's true. I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> I haven't had yet. dinner yet, right? I haven't had dinner okay. yet. Okay, correct. I so that's had the way. Dinner yet. That's the way that you use it. I haven't had dinner so yet. Like it's, it's like something that will happen in the future. Uh, no, it's just to say that in the moment you haven't done it. You haven't done it. Maybe you will do it. Maybe you will have it. But at the moment, no. It's like when I tell you, okay, did you finish the conversation? No, teacher, no yet. Okay, I understand that. You need some it's time. Like, uh, that something that proba probably uh, mm -hmm. can, uh, will happen uh, in a few moments or I that's, don't That's right, that's right. So that's the way that we use yet. Uh, 
Okay, hold on. Somebody's writing in the chat. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. You go with the cell phone, that's okay, no problem. So this is something really, um, I think it's easy, but you will say, yeah, but you're a teacher. Uh, but I think it's just a matter of practice, right? It's a matter of practice or getting familiarized with them. So I am going to uh, move on with the, with the last one. One more volunteer, and then we practice with some examples and the exercise, okay? That is the, one of the final exercises for today. So Blanca, please go with the, so. So, indicate effect, mm, result of consequence, or consequence. Mm. Ah, I don't have examples. Mm. It's easy. No, I don't have an exp example. I have okay. to think about. Think about it. Okay. So, somebody can help you. Yeah, sure. Okay, I haven't had dinner yet, so I will prepare something after class. Perfect, that's a good example. Um, you can say, uh, I understand that it's difficult for you, so I am going to help you. So, so it's like, therefore, right? So the effect, result, or consequence. Uh, for example, you can say, uh, my computer is running out of battery. So, and I don't have the charger. So I am going to connect from my cell phone. So that's something that you're planning to do. It's a result, right? Or an action that you will take. Uh, or you said, uh, the internet connection, I mean, the lights went out. So I couldn't finish the, the class. Okay, that's what, in my case yesterday, I didn't have a internet connection in my, in my router, right, in the modem. So I had to use my cell phone data, okay, to finish the class. So it's like a explanation or a result or another action that you take. Now, this is a piece of cake, uh, but practice is always necessary and examples are necessary too. So I'm going to move on quickly to the slide the, not this one, the next one. Okay. For and nor, but, or, yet, and so. And so the first one, Julio, read the example for four, please. Julio. Okay. Okay. It says, I don't eat peanuts, peanuts for, I am allergic to the nuts. Okay, so for is substituting because. So you can use it in the same way, okay? There is a reason, a reason. Yeah, that's the reason, correct. Okay, the next one, uh, Suleyma, second example. And the girl bought a nice cream and a lemonade. But an ice cream and a lemonade, correct? Uh, Jessica, please, the next example. Nor. Nor. That went, that went neither the red nor the yellow shirt. Mm -hmm. Neither the red nor the yellow one. And uh, Glenda, but. Glenda, can you hear me? Mm. Hello. Hello. John. Uh huh. John. Read the example, please. John likes movies. We can hear you, teacher. You cannot hear me. Oh, okay. Teacher, I think we lost you. No, the last one minute. No way, Jose. Okay, wait a second. Now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I, I turn out the camera so I, I, I have better connection. I definitely have to contact people. Uh, tomorrow, the, the cable company. Now we're going to, well, the internet company. 
Uh, Glenda, I don't know if you can help us out with the example of uh, Jean. Now we lost him. Um, Diana, please. Um, John likes movies, but not scary movies. Not scary not ones. Scary ones. That's right. Not scary ones. Uh, next volunteer, I will ask uh, Flora, please. Or. So, mom, have the strawberry or the chocolate ice cream? That's right. Okay. Blanca, yet. She wasn't scared yet. Gave the speech anyway. Okay. She was scared yet. <laughs> gave the speech anyway. And so I will ask uh, Rolando, please. So I started to rain, so I put up my umbrella. I put up my umbrella, okay? So now that you are experts in the fanboys, you will write down your review about the restaurant. Solo es uno, what is that? Okay, <laughs> so uh, thank you, Jessica. Uh, right here comes the, the, the challenge, right? What, what are the, the specific things that you need to, to remember for, or you need to consider for your review? First of all, uh, I will go to the previous slide. Wait a second, right here. First of all, punctuation, okay, punctuation. Normally we use sentence plus comma plus one of the fanboys and the sentence. For example, I live in San Miguel, comma, but I don't like its weather. So we have a comma before the conjunction, okay? Don't forget about that. And um, you're complemented. So you are connecting two different sentences, okay? Remember, because the conjunction is giving a new idea, a new meaning to the complement. So if you say for, it's a purpose. If you say but, it's a contrast. If you say nor, it's a negative alternative. If you say and, you are adding more. It's not enough, so you add more. Uh, yet introducing a contrasting ideas, right? Uh, in this case, uh, you saw the example there. And um, yet, I am going to make a clarification here because I just mentioned that you can use yet for the for saying um, aun, right? Like in the, in the negative form or in the questions. So did you finish yet? Ya terminaste, right? Or if you say, no he terminado aún, I, I haven't finished yet. But in this case, we are using as an introductory, introductory phrase for a contrasting idea. Uh, so that would be like aún, but with the meaning of aunque, right? Aunque, uh, I can say, I am not an expert in medicine. Yet, I can give you some tips for health because I read up articles about that. So, yet, it's like, aunque no sea así, igual puedo darles algunos consejos, right? Um, or you can say, I'm not married or I don't have children, but I have a nephew. So, just for the context, right? I, I'm, I don't have children, yet I know how to... Uh, let's say, how to punish a kid without violence, right? Uh, so I can use the strategy of taking the cell phone <laughs> or, or turning off the, t the TV. So as a teacher, I, I have my own strategies. Now, that's the way that we can use yet, okay? And so is the effect, result, consequence, or uh, an action that you decided to take. So you say, well, the teacher didn't give me the opportunity to participate. So I activated the microphone and started to participate. <laughs> so, right, it's a consequence. Um, now we're going to go to the next indication. 
you are going to add the corresponding punctuation to the sentences below. This is to check if you have everything clear. Number one, Harbin, can you please read example number one? I go to the expensive restaurant for their service are dish are really good. Okay, uh, what is the punctuation here? What is missing here? Comma. A comma, where are you going to place a comma? After restaurant. After the word restaurant, okay, correct. Number two, uh, I will ask, uh, I want everybody to participate, so raise your hand. Okay, or I will choose you. Uh, Miguel, please, Miguel Angel. And then we go with Merlin for number three. Okay, uh, restaurant need to offer especially dishes. And they have to offer take out in case you are in a hurry. Okay, in case you're in a hurry. So where is the comma there? The where should the comma go? Is dishes after dishes. After dishes, comma, and, okay. So number three, thank you so much. You can use the reactions for uh, the participants. Number three is for Merlin. Can you hear me? Yes, no? Uh, yes. Okay, sorry, perfect. Please. Number three, just read number three. Okay, the delivery person arrived late, so we got the food for free. Okay. Where should the comma go? Sorry? Where should you place the comma? Um, the camera? No, the comma. <laughs> Not the camera. <laughs> Just the comma. Where are you going to add the comma in the sentence? All right, later. Okay, the uh, the delivery arrived late. Comma, uh huh. That's correct. So we got the food for free. Now, yeah, uh, that's like Pizza Hut, right? Thirty minutes or it's free. Now, what you're going to do um, right now is just to do that. Uh, you are going to write down a ten line review. So have your notebook ready, or if you want to do it in the computer, that's okay. Uh, what services do you offer? Do they offer right in the restaurant? What characteristics make this restaurant good? Use comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions, okay? So uh, you can do this alone, okay, by yourself, or you can do it in purse, okay? I can give you the option in case you want to discuss, right? As, or you are just writing and then you want to uh, ask something to your classmate, that's okay. But if not, you do it individually. I give you the time and then you, uh, you share with us. What would you prefer? To be in the breakout room with somebody else just in case you want to discuss something or you want to help each other or individually writing down your review. Individually. individually. Okay, okay, perfect. So right now you are going to have exactly, let me check. Individually, it's okay. Perfect. So you will have exactly 20 minutes, okay? 20 minutes for you to write down the, your, um, your essay. Uh, it's kind of an essay, right? But you're going to write down a 10 line review. Uh, if you want to do it like a sentence and the second sentence, third sentence, that's okay. If you want to do it like a paragraph and you continue with periods and commas, that's okay. So think about your favorite, your top restaurant, okay? And answer the questions that appear here, right? Uh, you can use the comparatives, you can use the con permitting conjunctions. The most important is that you include the elements that we have been practicing, okay? So this is really important because you are writing, but later you are going to read it aloud, okay? So when you write, you have the possibility to, to improve your speaking when you read it aloud. 
So uh, 20 minutes beginning now, if you have any doubt, just activate the microphone, you write a question in the chat and I will help you out. Okay, so go ahead, do your best. Express the services, characteristics that makes this restaurant special or appealing to the customers. Think about the place, about the food, about the service, about the options, about the prices, about the taste. Um, what else? I'm going to get hungry if I start giving examples, but you get the idea. <laughs> Don't forget that in the chat, you can write down to me directly, right in a private message in case you have a doubt. You can use your dictionary if you have some doubts, but try not to use the translator, right? So you copy the complete sentence and then translate it to English. No, that's not something good. But the vocabulary, yes, you can use the dictionary in case you have a doubt. Right now, Julio, the examples are very good, but write them in your notebook or in your computer and later you are going to share with, with, with the class, okay? Okay. Uh, do, I have, do we have to write down the, the 10 examples or? Yeah, you have to do it in your notebook or in your computer if you want. And then okay. at the end, we're going to share through here or through uh, WhatsApp as well. I'm going to okay. give you that option because of time, okay? Okay, okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, in the next uh, five minutes, I am going to send you to the breakout rooms in pairs, in pairs. So with the idea or the purpose of uh, just finishing working, I am going to enter the breakout rooms just to ask you individually, right, how you're doing, uh, if you're missing a lot or you're almost done or you've already finished to monitor, right? How much you have progressed. And um, after the five minutes, we're coming back to the main session. I'm going to give you some final indications. We will listen or read some of the, uh, of your classmates answers and, um, and we're going to close, okay? Today's session. So, uh, Breaker rooms, that will be 11 breaker rooms. And please accept the invitation right now. You will have five minutes in pairs, okay? But just for me to monitor, to ask you questions. Excellent, thank you so much for joining. Diana and Francisco, Harbin with Karen, Freddie and Floor, Anna, Elizabeth with Suleyma. Brenda with Merlin, uh, Rolando and Jessica, Juan Jose with Julio, Blanca with Ruth, Jacqueline and Jennifer, Ana Mariela with Miguel. Excellent, so I'm going to move Linda to room number nine. Okay, Floor and Merlin, can you hear me? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, so check if you can join the breakout room, please. I don't have the link. Um... Okay. Let me check. Can you share me, please? Merlin, right? Yes. So I will send you to the room number four. Did you get it? Okay, then I'll move you to room number five. Um, okay, so okay. sorry to interrupt. Uh, Anna um, and Miguel, did you finish your individual uh, review? Yes, teacher. I, I sent you uh, to chat. To the chat. Okay. For uh, personal I chat. Will, I will check it out. Yes. yes. Anna Mariela. Okay. okay. Um, I'm not yet. Not yet. Okay. So you can finish it in a moment. You have time. Yeah, you have time. You have around three minutes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, Anna, uh, let me... Uh, um, do they have delivery or just service in the restaurant? Uh, the restaurant have the delivery service. Um, in some occasion, uh, we have to service to what about you Jarbin? okay I was reading my sentences about Papa John's because I don't know why uh, but I love their coffee really oh, really <laughs> <Yeah>. that's interesting <laughs> yes I don't know why but I, I love it. I like it. I like to spend time. In but the problem, but the problem of this location is that there is not so much space for parking. And in late afternoons and even evenings, almost at weekends, there are so many people. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's in South Salvador. Yes. 
is in um, share with you a little bit about my uh, favorite restaurant. Well, I love seafood. For that reason, when I have money, when I get my salary, <laughs> I go um, I go to this restaurant. Well, it's called uh, Puerto Marisco. Have mm. you ever heard yes. about yes, that restaurant? Be... Yeah, it's good, okay. but I like to Punto Marino. Close to Ram de Luceiro. Oh, well, it's a good and I it's haven't... cheaper than. It's a good and it's cheaper than Puerto Marisco. Okay, those are very really? good examples. Okay, you yeah. have one more minute. <laughs> one more minute. Um, how do you say? Can Cantonese rice, I think, like that. The yeah. Cantonese that'll be, that'll rice be one. is, um, is, is yeah. Chinese or, or it's Chinese. Well, it's Chinese. Yeah, it's Chinese. Actually, the Korean rice is white. It's white. Totally white. They don't put any of ah no sé cómo se dice condimento. What? Spice? Any spices? Any spices. They don't put any spices. In Korean food. So it's like a very... But I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember the name. Uh, it's, it's soap. Japanese soap. But I, and I don't remember the name. It's, it's, really, it's, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's really delicious. Yeah. This is my opinion for the for like my... Rollita and, and right, right. rolls, rolls, uh huh, rolls, yes, rolls. Yeah, I really like with uh, with a uh, fish, with fish, mm. with uh, that sounds avocado, delicious. Avocado, <laughs> avocado. wow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I'm teacher, going, to, teacher, get out, yeah, I'm going yeah. to get out of this conversation because it's too tempting. <laughs> 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 uh, I have a question. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah, I, I, I forgot the name of the soup of Japanese food. Is it uh, ramen? I forgot that. Is it ramen? Ramen. Yeah, I really ah, like ramen. Okay. Ramen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Ramen, but not with. Not with Oh my God, that, those conversations were so tempting for me. Everybody was talking about delicious food. That was so difficult. I, I think that tomorrow I'm going to go to eat some, some of that. <laughs> now, um, everybody was sharing something that was amazing. I didn't have the chance to listen to everyone but for me, something really, really important, really necessary. So uh, I am going to quickly just take the attendance, okay? And I'm going to give you the, the two options, okay? I want to know what you wrote in your review. So I will ask you, I will ask you to, I will give you two options. Number one is that you record yourself uh, saying your sentences and you send me the audio through WhatsApp directly to me, okay? So just say your name, like teacher, I'm Luis, right? Or teacher, I'm uh, Brenda, Paulo, right? And this is my audio. Or send me the sentences, okay? Send me the sentences so I can read the sentences uh, and give you some comments about that. So please do that tomorrow during the day before the class. Okay. Um, so when we join, we go, we go to class tomorrow night, I can give you some general feedback, right? And I would love to, to know uh, your opinion, your review about the restaurant. Uh, Ana Beatriz is not here. Ana Elizabeth, yes, right? Yes, I'm here. Ana Mariela? 
I'm here. Brenda? I'm here. Carla? Carla Yanet? Yes. Um, or no, we lost her. Diana Yesenia? I'm here. Flor? I'm here. Okay, perfect. Uh, Francisco? Francisco, are you there? Yes, okay. Got you. Remember, that when I take the attendance, I, I do not see the, the camera. So for that reason, it's hard to see if you're raising your hand or trying to speak. Uh, Glenda? I'm here. Harvin? I am here. Jennifer? Present. Juan Jose? I am here. Karen? Karen Guadalupe? Uh, I'm here. Okay, good. Uh, Merlin? Yes, I'm here. Miguel Angel? I'm here, teacher. Rolando? I'm here. Ruth? I'm here. Suleyma? I'm here, teacher. Jessica? I'm here. Okay, perfect. Jacqueline? Blanca? I'm here. Okay, thank you, Jackie. Blanca? Freddy's? Aquí, aquí, aquí. Good. Aquí, okay. <laughs> Uh, Freddy's and Julio. I'm, I'm here. Okay, yeah. excellent, both. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, so today was a delicious class because every, everybody was talking about food. Now, um, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, today we had like, let's say the most difficult topic that we have to be covering, right, with the, with the grammar. But tomorrow is going to be more focused on speaking. So I hope that uh, you have your microphone ready, right? Because everybody is going to be speaking about some specific, some specific topics that I will tell you uh, in tomorrow's session. So right now I'm just going to say with one of you, as I told you, uh, just to confirm. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions or comments before you go home? Well, you go home. I, I got, I remember the classes when I was in person. Uh -huh. I'm going have, crazy with this, guys. I have uh, a question. I miss I have a in question. person classes. I'm looking uh -huh. for your question, contact. Question. My contact. I'm looking for, for your contact in the chat group. Okay, uh, I will send uh, a message. Uh, uh, are you F. Corta? No, I'm Freddie Marquez. Um, I will send a message. I will say, hey, this is Freddy. Freddy. One more time. I sent a message okay. at the beginning, but just in case. <laughs> okay. I will send. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So Please. right now I stay with. Because uh, I was not in at uh, the beginning in the in the group. Nah, don't worry. I understand. So today I stay with Brenda. If you don't have any other questions or comments, uh, that's all for tonight. Thank you so much. Have a, an amazing night. I have a Take question. <laughs> question. Question. Tell me. Blanca. <laughs> when. Ah, bueno, en español, ¿cuándo me va a tocar a mí? ¿Cuándo me va a tocar a mí la reunión de 10 minutos? Porque la lista no estaba con mi nombre. That will have to be in the place of Diana on Monday 19, probably. Yeah, that's the most likely date, but I will confirm with you and the, and the rest. Okay, so... Okay. Uh, Okay, thank you. Okay, sleep. Bye. Sleep Have tight. a great night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, Diana. Bye bye. 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 This is like when the when you the, the teacher said, okay, you have to say at the end of the class, 
Uh oh, not good. Right? <laughs> okay, it's a di it's a different story, so don't worry. Okay. Goodbye, Julio. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you, Mister. Okay, Brenda, do you have some specific uh, doubts or topics that I can help you with? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I uh, see, that, I, I see you... that, that you understand uh, a lot, right? That you have a good level of English. So I suppose that I, there are some specific points that maybe you have doubts. Mm, see, I was having one, but uh, I already see how you explain it, but just confirm this. Uh, like when you use the word, leaking word for, so after this word, you have to use, the verb you will use after, after this, you have to use it with ing, right? Like for example, I will study this for mm, getting more knowledge or something like that. that that's a good question, yes. Actually, any kind of uh, conjunction or preposition that we use that is not the preposition to mm -hmm. has to be followed by mm -hmm. ing. If you say uh, mm -hmm. in, verb in ing. If you say for, verb in ing. If you say uh, on, verb in ing. So if it is not the preposition to, you need to use the verb in ing after a conjunction or a preposition. It's mandatory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now you teach me something that you can think that I don't know because <laughs> this is like uh, what I was having. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now you know. Um, no, but actually it's a topic that's complicated. I don't know why. I think that students uh, struggle with it because I normally explain students, okay, it's ING. But then when they start using it, they don't do it. They don't do it. Um, so, but you, okay. you pay attention to that. Another thing that we can do, important. maybe you want? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I can share you what I wrote and then you can tell me if it's right or do okay. I have any mistakes? I like that. I like that idea. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, okay, I invent because um, I don't have a special restaurant to say like, this is my favorite or that is my favorite. I don't go for branches. I just go for dishes. It can be anything. Ah, okay. So I write this. My favorite restaurant is, uh -huh. my favorite restaurant is X, <laughs> X, Y, Z. Y, Z. That's a cool name. Because I just invent also. Uh -huh. I love <laughs> and I just invent. I love the place because it has a very nice ambience. Also, it's cheaper than others that sell almost same kind of food. The specialty specialty of that place it's the spicy food they have. I always go there for eating Mexican food. I use there here the four. I don't know. Mm -hmm. The restaurant offers food. many services, but the best, but the best is for special dates. You can book a table telling that is for, and you say type of date you will have, and they decorate the table accordingly. And they just can charge you $5, but the only thing I don't like it, I don't like about the place is that the parking is very small. So if they could fix this, that will make the restaurant a perfect place. Okay. Uh, in general, mm -hmm. I think that you uh, you have a very specific way of um, using the language or expressing your ideas, I would say. That's interesting. Uh, I like that. Uh, something to improve, maybe it's uh, punctuation in the first uh, the first oh, lines. It was, it was okay. My favorite restaurant is uh -huh. XYZ restaurant. Uh, period. That would be a period. I mm -hmm. love this place because it has a very unique Nice ambience, comma. Uh, also, mm -hmm. that would be another comma in this case. Uh, also after, after also, yeah, before yeah. also, and after also another yeah. comma. If you okay. want to use it like that with comma, but if you if you prefer a mm -hmm. different way, 
You can uh, say, I love this place because it has a very nice ambience, period. And then also comma, and. if you if, ah, you have the two options, you can finish with the period and start with the, let's say the linking word and comma, or you can put the two commas mm -hmm. and the linking mm -hmm. word in the middle. That's okay. It's cheaper than others mm -hmm. that sell almost the, the same. It's missing the word, the article, the, the uh, same kind of food. Mm -hmm. Right there, the same, the same kind of mm -hmm. food. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, the specialty of that place is spicy food. They have, um, so in that case, the specialty of that place is spicy food. That's it. They have it. Doesn't I mean you don't need it and doesn't make doesn't, too much sense. Uh, okay. uh -huh. Ah, it's yeah. like a, how do you say redundancia? <laughs> Redounds. Red, make, yeah, it's re, it's redundant. It's redundant. Ah, redundant. Uh -huh. ah okay. Uh, the specialty of that place is the spice food. Uh, you can connect this, the next sentence after the period probably, so they don't look like separated mm -hmm. sentences uh, or isolated sentences. Uh -huh. uh, I always go there for eating Mexican food, period. And then you start with the next sentence with a, okay. with a capital letter, the, uh -huh. mm -hmm, yeah. the restaurant mm -hmm. offers many services, but the best, is for special dates. Uh -huh. uh, that would be a period. Special dates. You can book okay, a table. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, because if you see, if you don't write that, if you don't include that period, you have like four different lines with no period, only commas. So that's uh -huh. not uh -huh. that's not possible. Yeah, that would sound like nonstop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you would end, uh -huh. you would end up you have to tired. breathe. <laughs> yeah, you have to breathe. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you can book a table, tell him that it's uh, for uh, X type of dates, right? And they decorate. Okay. Uh, that would be a comma after the parentheses. And they okay. decorate the table accordingly. Okay, so you have an or N. N, N is is too repetitive so maybe you can uh eliminate the n the first n uh -huh. so yeah wait. you could you could use it yeah you could use it so mm -hmm. they decorate the table accordingly and uh-huh it make it sounds better and they charge you uh five dollars but mm -hmm. the only okay. thing i don't like about that place is that mm -hmm. the parking is very small. Mm -hmm. That would be a period there because you have okay. approximately four sentences or three sentences with commas. So, mm -hmm. oh, capital. If, with capital letter. So, if mm -hmm. they could fix this comma, that would make the restaurant a perfect place. Oops. Period. No, don't worry. That's, that's right. Yeah. A perfect place, period. This. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would That's make it. A, a perfect place. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you have the review with more than 10 sentences. That's all right. And. Yeah, I think that you, you got it. So, um, I don't know, maybe in this case, you focus more on the, um, on the ambience and the, probably the benefits of for events or special dates, not too much in the food. However, that's okay because mm -hmm. you, you focus on one aspect of the restaurant that you feel is appealing. So. I agree with you. And uh, mm -hmm. besides that, is there anything else that you have doubts about the fanboys or the, comparator, the comparative adjectives? Um, Were you the check. one who asked me about the, the double consonant? No. No, it was something No, else. I understood okay. that you say, no, but I didn't know that. I 
learned it before, but I forget because I didn't practice. So, but I, I, I remember that you say that you have like a consonant, vowel consonant, you have to repeat mm -hmm. the last consonant to make the... Uh, uh, the comparative. Comparative, you say, right? Yeah, yeah. You can say mm -hmm. comparison. Comparison okay, is another word, yeah. Comparison. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Give me an advice uh, for the language, maybe. Piece of <laughs> or advice. Grammar or something like that. No, I. What I perceive is that you uh, connect ideas well. I mean, you know a lot of words and um, and you understand a lot. So maybe uh, what I could say is that you might need to be exposed to speaking a little bit more because i feel that you yeah, are you listening you're analyzing uh-huh what what did i say <laughs> when you use must must in the other is uh should must and might, might. i don't know but might. there are two uh-huh yeah must is an uh -huh. obligation it's a very strong obligation you must for example you must uh, carry your driver's license when you're driving. You must mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. carry that with you. So that is a strong obligation. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, this is applied for law uh, mm -hmm. or for rules. Uh, mm -hmm. So you must wear a uniform in this school. Uh, mm -hmm. You must not leave, skip any class. Uh, uh -huh. without permission from your parents or something like that, right? So uh -huh. must is for a strong obligation. And the other one that is, is have to. Have to uh -huh. is the similar uh, expression, let's say, or the similar the verb. Must. But have to is, is a personal obligation. Uh, so uh -huh. I have to take a shower every day. Uh, so it's a little bit less than must, but it's still an obligation. And the other one that so I... So you won't get a punishment. Well, you can get a punishment, but maybe from your parents, right? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but not uh -huh. by law or something. Not by law. You won't go to jail. huh? Mm -hmm. uh, and the other one that I was using is also should. Should is for advice. Should. Mm -hmm. Should is optional. Like mm -hmm. you should, uh -huh. you should practice more speaking, but that's up to you. That's up to you. Um, uh -huh. mm -hmm. But must and have to are the ones that people usually complete. I mean, confuse and need to, need to. That's obviously necessary, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to go shopping, and sometimes you have to go shopping. <laughs> uh, there's a difference there. Mm -hmm. uh, you have necessity yeah you don't really you don't really uh have to do it but yeah like this you're taking this course because you have to or because you need to probably you say because i need to mm -hmm. not like like i have an obligation right mm -hmm. but i need to or i want to right uh, I want to <laughs> uh -huh. exactly um mm -hmm. So that, that would be the, the use of the two of the two verbs, must and have to. Must uh -huh. is a very might, strong obligation. Might is possibility. Might. Might uh -huh. is possibility. So mm -hmm. for example, uh, you might consider mm -hmm. uh, uh, speaking to someone uh, who has a, an advanced level of English. You might consider that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of advice, but is possibilities up to you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. I'm writing. Okay, no problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that okay. will be that will be all I think. Um uh, Brenda, I okay. let me know if you have any other doubts or comments. No, uh, at this moment, no. You clarify my doubts. Thank you. Okay, that's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Have a good night and I'll see you okay. tomorrow. Okay, take care. Yeah, sure. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.